Alright guys, welcome to episode 5 of Dying Light 2. In this video, we're going to be going to get the, I think it's called the Loris. It's brass knuckles used by a head boss of the Peacekeepers named Lucas, who has recently died. And they're trying to figure out who had murdered him. And they need these special brass knuckles to figure it out. So, let's continue and see where it's going to take us. And guys, if you haven't noticed, they've added where you're in the dark too long. You're going to die. Well, turn to a zombie. That's also what I would say. The peacekeepers need our help. We must help them. Alright, let's go. Get me out of the loading screen. There we go. Alright. Well, we should already be in the Peacekeeper's base. Okay. Not me. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a nice guy, guys. Alright, what was the weapon the guy gave us? Which one was it? I think it was this one. I don't know, but... Let us continue to find the Lazarus or whatever we will see what it's actually called soon what <laughs> man hearing a bunch of noises everywhere because these people these people just love talking and making noise Alright, through here. To talk to Hakon. What's up, boy? How you get to be out here already? So, what did they want from you? If you've been there like you said you'd be, I'm... Whoa, whoa, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas' death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Ator doesn't have Lucas' charisma. He's gonna have problems. Ator said he might let me through to the center. If I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas' weapon. The Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. He's got half the city after him for death right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. What's his name? Hubert Carbatos, also known as Half-Ass Hubert. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some of the leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. Is that a windmill over there? I should, let's, let's go check that out real quick. Before we go doing all this other stuff. Because it will make us have a safe house, which I really want. How would we get to it, though? Man, you just got these things, man. What the? Dark Hollows. Alright. They got a lot more civilians in this game than Dying Light had in a hole. Which way will we be going? Uh... Oh wait, oh dang it, I missed it. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. And now I'm tired. That is my fault, guys, I'm sorry. Alright. 
So it's timed just perfectly for us to get to this one. Get up there before you fall. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All this for a safe house. They're making us do a lot more than just fighting zombies for it. Which is respectfully awesome. I mean, we get to see a scene of them building. When do we get to make it like a civilian team? We already seen it. It's the same one. So there's no need to see it again. Oh, let's go. Another base. Another day, another dollar. All right, we need our paraglider so we could just jump down from this stuff. That'd be nice. Y'all ready for this? Oh, yeah. Jumping on the trash bags. Is that my dog barking? I say this like every video. Wait, who, who's looking at me, man? Catch it, catch it. All right, nice. What was that? Oh, no. Well, let's just run on the street. Collect loot from these dummies. Well, I see, boy. Is that is that it? Oh, it's not a zombie. I was about to come and slap this man. So you don't remember when it happened? Oh, I am so sorry, guys. We got to do another windmill. Oh, we got to. For one thing, it's very satisfying to climb up. All right. Before your health replenishes. Nice. All right. Okay. All right. So I didn't know we had to go. All right, right there, all right, let's go. Sorry if you hear my goofy sisters downstairs, there's some loud boogers. Hey, who are you? Oh, is this where we had to go anyways? Well, first let me do this. I'll, I'll be back down. Got some unrealistic jumping. Guys, if you haven't decided your mind on wanting to buy this game, I really recommend you buy it. Let's go. Now there's safe house for us. Oh yeah, we're gonna rack up these things. Oh, is it a new one? Oh, we should have watched it. It's blue. All right, we're gonna have to climb back up, so. Oh yeah, look at this. I can zip line. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a lot of side missions in this game. Too many for you to even think of doing like 70 or 80 hours of side quests. Yeah, you can call me Aiden, buddy. All right, let's sup. Mysterious guy. No, not me. 
I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got him. No one will be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, it's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Yeah, nothing to do but wait, I guess. Nice, we didn't have to wander around or nothing. I was picturing we had to go and lay down. Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. Wait, wait. I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. Nope. Apparently he's scared. Sure. Hack on. He's running away. Now, uh -huh. uh, Hubie. Oh, wait a second. I see him. I'm close running to the northeast. We gotta find a way down. Not, not way down. Let's go run. Oh, we're gonna get this fool. Ain't nobody running from us. Can we slide? Sliding doesn't come yet. We have to equip it. Hurry! We have 50 seconds. Oh, yeah. Okay, we can stop all this falling. Watch out, zombies. Why would I? Oh, the parkour is much more sufficient in here. Hack on. He's not here. All right, so... The Are you kidding me? God dang bastard. Let's go now. Where you at? Let's go. Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything. I swear. I'm told that you're a fence. Hmm? Fence? No way. A reseller, maybe. But... I'm looking for the Lazarus. I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. Know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> that weapon is way too hot. Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but... I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. But someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you. I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. 
Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Uh huh. Hey, Hubert said someone tried to sell him to Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there. The army set up 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. So, I still ain't found any sign of our weapons going ineffective, so, did they get rid of that? I'm not complaining, because that's awesome. That we don't have to worry about finding scrap metal parts. What the heck? Alright, well, I'm looking at the people fighting a zombie. See, man, they make daytime seem so peaceful, and this game seem amazing at daytime. Was this another one of them thingabobs? One muscle? As I was saying, they make this game seem so peaceful in the daytime. Nighttime comes and you run and poop your britches back to back. A personal elevator. Already made more safe houses than I had in Dying Light. Did they not make a base out of it? Oh, shoot. Oh, what in the late reaction crap was that? What the act? Alright, let's look at some skills. Ain't got none yet. It's alright. Can we uh, dismantle in here? We got the backpack stuff. I'm gonna tell me how to do this. Man, look at all these side quests already. Alright, at the moment, let's just keep going. They didn't build a base this time, so I must not be a safe house. Figures why it was a different scene. Whoa! Those are some rude people. Hi guys. Are you people nice? Where? Hold on. Who is singing? Oh yeah, loving this game guys. What is this? A GRE anomaly. Doesn't look like something I want to do right now. Nothing could stop our boy Aiden from getting. Okay, all right. Draw your weapon. Who's stomping? What the? Oh, we're in the dark. We gotta hurry. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? How do we get up there? Oh, my bad. Maya! 
Found you. Hey kids, I'm, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. Dude, we're so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's he what's it over? Are you nuts? The who's he what's it's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. No. Let's negotiate. Of, money, kid. of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. I'm turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal. Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. So she asked for 500, but took 10. That, wow. That's major negotiating. Oh. Yeah, Search around. Okay. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make a perfect birthday present for you. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. All right, where are we heading? That way. All right. Wait, do, are we able to like just? Is there fast traveling in here? No fast traveling. So we are full-on parkour runners. Probably should have just. How you get into the container? Um. Right here. No? Or about it later. Oh, let's get this though. I need these. What the? Oh, we gotta throw in spear, y'all. Oh, let's go. Oh, this is gonna be fancy. Love the parkour guys, and now someone's gonna spot us. I feel like I'm running the movie. Okay, who's howling like a wolf? I want the paraglider now. It's already showing I have it paragliders from the pre-order I did but it's not saying any way for me to use them okay I'm messing up some of my parkour Oh, that was sick. We're still running with a spear. Someone. At least tell me you've been to the doctor. I'm not going to be groped by some strange guy. Mm. 
Ah, oh, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. Uh, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Man, looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. A token of gratitude. Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Uh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. If men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Sounds like we got a psycho on our hands. Give him my spear. Anything else around here before we leave? No? Let's go find this idiot. Ain't no way it's about to be nighttime. Aren't you why were you talking to me if you're right here? Well, Ada wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. I'm doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's 
you will see. Well, I want to leave at nighttime, actually, guys. I'm going to do it on purpose. Oh, that was awesome. There's no volatiles. We are okay. Hmm? What? A container? Okay, who's just busting out a door right there? Watch out, y'all. Roll. Normally parkour artists say you roll on high jumps. Let me in. I am here. I am here for goodness of my soul. Are you, what, what you done? Don't stay out too late. I'm not. Let me in. Oh, screw you. Who's chasing us? Of course, we go to the big gate. Alright, so we have three suspects from Hack On. Who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you around so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. We are responsible for the safety of our community, and we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad, and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? Alright, which one should we choose, guys? A wolf. You better watch. 
watch out. I'm relieved then. A true wolf doesn't have to announce he's a wolf. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? But let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well. But mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. Yeah, you don't look big. I can knock you out in two seconds, bud. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. These people and wanting me to do all this. Now, who should I talk to? Can I talk to you? Yes, sir. Can I talk to the big man now? No? You look anxious. Cool, girl, but your nosy friend's back. No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm. Ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say... Pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. He lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar of Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. Now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. 
I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. Alright guys, we are on a mission to gain trust of wait. Well, do we Alright. So let's see what we can do to get that on. Alright, we have to do the side quest these people be giving me to earn Sophie's trust, which that doesn't make any sense because why would I want to earn someone's trust? I'm just here to find my sister, not do all this work for these god dang people. Now, watch out. No, let's go. Hurdle. Okay. Oh, whoa, not that kind. Wait up. Ch chase started. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Run like you mean it. Run like you mean it. Climb like you mean it. Okay. Okay. All right. No, I don't want to hear it. Let's go climb. They can't climb like this, right? Chase and chase and please, uh, if I get. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, they're like right here, guys. Okay. Oh yeah, we're having a good time now. Real good time. Real good time. Hi, ha ha, suckers. Come in, here. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. What you gonna do? What's it gonna do? Yeah. Alright. How far is our destination? We done past that crap. <laughs> yes, thank you. No, no, thank you. Oh my god, there we go again. Oh. Stop grabbing me. We don't want it. We don't want the howler to see us. How could can these things climb? Health. Find the missing suppliers. So Alright. It's right here, yeah. Jesus. So, sorry, we got a little sidetracked with a flipping chase scene. It's alright though. Okay, never mind. We will do this like Brutus. Be quiet. Be quiet. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. There we go. Alright, let's get me out of here. What's the purple thing do, guys? Someone's got to tell me that. Right. We're trying to go up or down. I'm gonna assume we follow the footprints, guys. Okay. Which way are the footprints going? Guys. Which way were the footprints going? Why would you do it so loud, dude? Uh, all right. Yeah. 
I don't, I don't even know if I'm... Oh, okay. What does this do? What did that do? It didn't, it didn't heal me. I'll tell you that part. This way. All right, I'm gonna. I hope the foot steps were coming down here. See it being up here because it's a UV light. Are you kidding me? Hurry up. Alright, that's probably what this is for. Shit. 
check out this storage area in an underground parking lot on St. Joseph Street. Cross the fence right in front of the massage parlor, enter the building, and head down the elevator shaft. Well, hey, slow down. First, what would I be looking for if I did this for you? GRE containers. According to the rumor that reached Dodger, there was a military installation here set up in the first days of the outbreak. And where there's military, there's usually a healthy stash of supplies. Uh, what kind of supplies? Don't know for sure. But usually good stuff from before the outbreak. It was only the finest for the military. Medicine, booze, water. Hmm. I wonder Dodger wants this delivery so badly. Yep. City at the start of the outbreak. The base has a military side and a civilian side. The military side is a good stuff. The civilian side probably has more infected than loot. Look for the military entrance and you can't go wrong. Well, once you're inside, be careful. Getting to the storage area won't be easy. The setup usually includes generators. Find them to fire up their UV lights. <laughs> That'll help against the fighters that'll be camping out there. Why do you work for Dodger? You need to ask. Same reason as you. We gotta do what we gotta do to survive. Dodger tips me off where I might find valuables and I go there. If I find some good stuff, I take a cup. A tiny one. A sliver. You know, vultures, guys like Dodger are. It's barely enough to live on, but... It's better than nothing, I guess. The worst is when Dodger gives me a bum lead. And I get fuck all. That's happened more than once. No skin off Dodger's nose, though. He's got plenty of guys like me working for him. What happened to your leg? Got jumped by bandits as I approached the site. Barely managed to get away. If you don't do this, Dodger will kill me. Okay, I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks. You're saving my ass by doing this, buddy. You should head there now. Most of the infected will have cleared out to go hunting. Well, thanks for the tip. Well, I am gonna loot everything first. You got a med kit, and then I can hurry, buddy. I really need a med kit. Here we go. On a mission for Hubert for. What's his face again? Oh, Scarface Russian dude. Who knows? Uh, as long as we don't get a chase again. Man, they made it like a flipping GTA police chase. You get four stars if it's major. It's not really stars exactly, but that's just what I call it. What's up, y'all? How you been, bud? Oh, shoot. Enemies nearby? Oh, I can tell that. I can tell you that. Dang it, I have to hold. I didn't. Get close to me and you die. Get close to me and you die. Come on, let's go. Get 
Oh yeah, y'all give me everything. All they They've got the med kits, let's go. Don't tell me it's dark, please. UV light, I mean. Hey. And there's people in here. Who are you? Uh, you guys need help? We'll be fine, thanks. What happened? We heard a rumor about this garage. We thought it'd be an easy score, but we were wrong. Dumbasses. Hey. Hey, at least we got far enough down to start up the old military generator and juice up some UV lights. So, what happened then? Further down, the underground parking is fucking swarming with infected. <sighs> Barely made it out of there alive. And then part of a wall collapsed on Jonas and our way to the surface. Well, you won't mind if I give it a try, do you? Knock yourself out. But it's probably not worth it. Unless you want to end up <laughs> like me. Or worse. Yeah, I gotta make good on a promise. Here, if you manage not to die, maybe you'll find use for these. We sure ain't going back. Not that way, at least. Well, thanks. Of course, we're gonna go the way where they're saying is bad. Hold on. Need to heal. Well, hold on. Well, my, it, maybe my weapons are low. Right here, see? What's modify do? Ooh. Oh, it's got electric to it now. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. But mainly I was seeing how to heal things. Oh, I remember we got some nice shoes. Is that it? Got that, that, that. Okay, nice. My sisters are yelling again. So goofy kids down there. Alright, let's go. I hear a volatile. Off that dude screams like sees me, I'm screwed. Shut up, lady. Okay, they turned around, they turned around. Oh, I woke them all up. Nice. Nice. He's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. Oh, what did I just pick up?
get out, get out, go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's go, boy. Alright, never mind. Boy, if you ever. Oh, yeah, y'all see this. Everybody, watch out. Let's go. Come on. Feel the electrocution in your old body move. Alright, watch out. Okay, if y'all are hearing that, you can start crying with me. Yeah, if you're hearing that, you can start crying with me, guys. Yep, start crying with me. med kit all right hold on nice all right let's go wait nice need to find out the generator quickly where was that one at the one that 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 screams when you they see you It's a long video, guys. I'm sorry, but it's all right. Gotta have some long videos, you know? Occasionally. All right, I don't see any more generators. Make sure I get everything, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, if you do it when you play, you can't blame me. No more generators sitting around. No more generators sitting around. Sing with me if you are scared just as much as I am. Oh, shoot. Uh, what, kind of, no, what kind of skills we got? What kind, of, what kind of stuff is this? Is this some french fries? Crafting, that's all. Skills, skills. We ain't got no skill points. How do you get them things? Yep, someone heard that. I didn't even know we could go that way. What a letdown to me, huh? We need to find another generator. We got th almost three, well, less than three minutes. Yeah. Well, are you level two, lady? Oh, you are. Oh, let's go. Skip point. No. Gonna. No. Yeah. Sit down, please. 
No, oh, this is gonna heal me right here. Let's go. Nice. All right, here we go. Back into the world. Let's go, let's go, Jesus Christ. I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared of you. I got them skills too, boy. Lockpick, lockpick, lockpick. Alright. Oh, quarterback jersey. How do we get to that? How do we get to that? They are the same and I am mad now. Right, we're about to find a generator soon. I go back real quick. See? Alright. I forgot we can craft. I forgot we can craft the medicine bandages and stuff. And we were sitting there like, oh, we don't have them, we can't heal, oh no. Oh yeah, we're screwed. Why'd they do this to us? They can't see me, huh? I don't care. Do what you gotta do. But you'll never see me. What the? Let's look at some stuff real quick. All right here. So we don't have much more modification things. We need wiring to upgrade that. Look at all this stuff we got though. I mean. We can't put it on everything if it's equipped it to another, so equipped it to another, my bad.
Guys, I think I'm gonna just do it. Let's go. Everybody wake up. It's time we dance. It's time we dance. Let's go. Who wants this? You want this, Scarface? Scarecrow mixed, whatever would I call you? Oh, Jesus Christ. Some of you broke as a dollar. Move. I don't want to move that right now. Medium, medium, all right. Nice. Oh, is that a... Oh, let's go. Let's go, hold on. All right, let's replace this with that. All right, no. Oh yeah, let's go, guys. Oh, and there's a generator right here. Thank God we have this thing. We got us an epic weapon, guys. Let's go. I'm about to be busting heads. Oh, hard. Oh, let's do. Let's do this. Dang, it wasn't hard. All you do is turn all the way to the left. Oh, MRE rations. We got some military food, y'all. Filters. Never gonna have enough of these. I'm sure Dodger can use them. A military med kit? That's definitely no. Oops. Can't get in here. But we can get in here. But this one's easy. Oh, we got some stuff. I think we got everything over here. Let's see what this vent leads us to. Oh, uh, we can't go in the vent. No, no venti. No venti. Wait, is this the entrance? Oh, it is. Let's go. Alright, so let's see if there's more stuff, supposedly, I guess, in here. Wait, why can I hide here? You know, I shouldn't even ask that question because why would I want to know why they're allowing me to be able to hide there?
I need one more. Come on, y'all. Right here. Looks like I got everything of value. Time to head out of here. Let nothing happen, please. Get me out of here. Let's go. Oh yeah. Where'd they go? They left. They dipped. Oh yeah. Did you find the stash? Sure did. Thanks for the lockpicks. But what are you still doing here? Is this him? Sure is. It's kind enough to get the goods for us. Saved us a lot of trouble. Very good. So, where did you find out about this? A little bird? Was it to you? Was it a little bird? I met a broken leg. How would you know? Because I broke it. Why'd you attack him? Huber was planning to take the goods for himself. Tell Dodger he didn't find anything. Needed our help to pull it off. But we didn't know why we needed half assed Hubi. And now we don't need you. So, give them to us. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. Let's fight. Five corpses. Kill him and take some goods. Let's go. I don't give two craps about y'all. Let's go. Come on. Oh, okay. This man whipped out a fat hammer. I want this man. Heal, heal, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. Or quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's go. Thanks for saving me time. Thanks for saving me some time. Let's go. Let's go, come on. No, man, let's go. Shut up, country boy, and fight. All right, better move. Let's go, come on. Got one, boy. Okay, they all jump up there. Man, what's with these people and these country boys? Come on, man. Let's go. The big guys are going to be a little trouble. Come on. Oh, I will. Okay. 
Let's go, come on. I almost have him. I almost have one. Let's go. Oh, wait. Wait. Ah. Oh. Crafting. Yes, Max, please. Yeah. They all sound like some country do. Ain't no way. Hold on. Unspent skills. What the heck? Seen these clean moves, huh? Oh, well, let's replenish some health. Oh, yeah, suckers. Yeah. I'll teach y'all a lesson. Ow, that hurt. Let's go. Oh, he's dead. You're a dead man. Come on. Let's go. Never mind. Medium. Alright guys, so after we talk to Herbert, I'm gonna end the video there, because this has been almost two hours. Back to Herbert we go. Alright, nice. Not nice. No. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Herbert, I am here to tell you the good news. How's the leg? Uh, no better. But it'll heal. Eventually. Oh, fantastic. Something wrong? I had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before. They said that you plan on cheating Dodger after all. Okay, the cat's out of the bag. Yeah, but look, it was only gonna be just this once. Dodger would never find out. But why would you steal from a man who's giving you work? Look, I'm living by the skin of my teeth here. I thought just this once I'd pretend he gave me a bum lead and take the whole stash. Maybe get a little ahead for once. And the bandits? I figured an ambush would sell the story better. 
Didn't expect them to turn on me. But then, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Seems like it. Trusting a group of thugs like them. That's what you get for being greedy. I wasn't being greedy. Just... Just desperate. Now I've got a busted leg and don't know when I can work again. What happened to them anyway? Now they tried to kill me, but didn't. Whew. Uh, and, and, and the goods? Did you reach them? I got everything. I'm begging you, don't tell Dodger. If you do, you'll ruin me. Please, d take what you have to him. Tell him I'll be back in business as soon as my leg heals. I'll think it over. Come on, man. Without work, I'll starve. I, I won't even think about doing it again. I, I swear. Don't make me laugh. You think I'd take your word for anything after this? Uh, believe me, I, I learned my lesson. I'll never do anything like that again. We'll see. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like button. And in the next video, we will continue to get everybody to trust us so that Sophia will give us a lead on who killed Lucas. That way we can get to the center or whatever it's called. But again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.